channel it's your girl shayla queen here so if you don't know then now you know so go ahead and stop take a moment hit that subscribe button and that push notifications bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video whether it's about college lifestyle beauty hair makeup vlogs anything else i feel the need to share so let's go ahead and get right into the video okay so today is the day two of the 12 days of southern hence the southern apparel so yesterday so the day one we talked about basically becoming a jaguar the applications process things that you need to um to apply basically basically touch base on that i might as well talk about the different i guess you say colleges departments basically the different majors degrees that we offer at southern you know school departments and programs just to give y'all you know information because I know that was one thing I noticed when I was looking into a school like what did their school offer in the particular program that I was trying to go to like did they offer something that I was looking for because um, some schools like every school doesn't have every major um so also like the other video I do have my iPad once again the link to this iPad case my iPad accessories will be in the description box down below as well as all the information that I provide to you guys, I will list it down below. If it's not done right away, trust me, it takes a while. I'll, you know, it'll be there. Just come back and check and see, just in case you don't catch it. We started. Um, we have the College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences. So you have Agricultural Sciences, Family and Consumer Sciences, and then Urban Forestry and Natural Resources. So just to get into the different departments for the department of agricultural services you have concentrations in agricultural economics agribusiness animal sciences plant and soil sciences and pre-veterinary medicine for family and consumer sciences you have a pair of merchandising and textiles so i guess it's more like if you're basically a, a design major um i really don't know too much about it because the only one I really know that much about is business marketing because I'm a business marketing major. If you do have questions at the end, you know, just comment them down below um, and I will find out for you. If I can, you also have child development, you have human nutrition and food as well. And then for urban forestry and natural resources, that's is no other concentration for college of business which is what i am you have the department of accounting finance and economics department of management and marketing which i'm under and then you have a master of business administration you have an accounting program a finance program for finance you have you know the finance and then you have a concentration in risk management and insurance and then you have business economics you have your Department of Management and Marketing. When it comes to business, you can have a, I guess in a way you can have a concentration in like entrepreneurship, because we do offer those courses and stuff. And then you have your MBA program, Master of Business Administration. And then you have the JDB MBA program. And then you have the Masters of Business Administration online. And then you also can get your cert certification in supply chain management, which is done online as well. You have the Nelson Mandela, Mandela College of Government and Social Sciences. So for your undergrad programs, you have criminal justice, history, political science, psychology, social work, and sociology. And then for your graduate programs, you have the Masters of Criminal Justice, Masters of Psychology, Masters public administration, master's in social science, and a PhD in public policy. And then for the online programs, you have criminal justice that's undergrad online, and you do criminal justice master's online, and then you can get your executive master's of public administration online. I'm gonna just go ahead and slide this in here. Not all programs, like not all, you can get everything, do everything online, if that makes sense. I think you can, but in the same way you kind of can. They do, a lot of classes do offer the courses online. So basically, technically, you can enroll in all online classes and therefore you're an online student. Um, and then especially now with the whole COVID situation, they have like hybrid, traditional, and online. Uh, so that way, if you want to be more of an online student and skip out on paying for room and board and don't stay on campus, like at least for those two semesters, you can do hybrid 
you can do hybrid and online classes and take your classes from home. We have the College of Humanities and Interdisciplinary Studies. So you have the Department of Languages and Literature, which includes your English and Philosophy Program and your World Languages Program. Then you have the Department of Mass Communication. You have the Department of Visual and Performing Arts. And under that, you have Music Program, Speech and Theatry, and Visual Arts. And then you have School of Education, which gives you the Department of Curriculum and Instruction, and then Department of Educational Theory, Policy and Practice. So basically for School of under at least under school of education you have the back you can get your bachelor of science in elementary education grades one through five your bachelor of science in elementary and special education one through five your bachelor of science in middle school and special education grades four through eight and then your master of education and educational leadership and then you are under the departments of languages and literature you can get your bachelor bachelor of arts in english and they have minors of French, Spanish, and English education. Then you have the Department of Mass Communication. So you can get your Bachelor, bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication and your minors in mass, com mass Communication and Public Relations. So if you hear somebody say Mass Comm, that's just Mass Communications and PR, that's Public Relations. Um, so this is kind of what makes you, oh, I'm a PR manager, you know, PR major, not manager. Um, just to kind of the difference between mass comm and PR. And then you have the Department of uh, Fine and Performing Arts. So basically you get your ma your Bachelor of Music, but then the minors are Music Education, Theater, and Visual Arts. And then inter Interdisciplinary Studies is just the Bachelor of there. I'm also gonna start this in here. If you have specific questions like, oh, I this is the kind of career path I wanna take, this is what I wanna do, which major is best for me comment it down below also if you see somebody's comment and you feel like you can help them go ahead and comment like share the knowledge that's what this is all about it's just about helping others and just sharing the information because you know at one point you needed to know that and you wish somebody would have told you so it's just you know this way we can help limit people getting into programs and then having to change their major because it's like this doesn't really tie into what i want to do so just throwing that out there and also if you have more specific questions like to these different things you can go on the www.shubr.edu and you can go on there and then you can find like your hit what is it i think your hit academics at the top or just students or application applicants and then just hit the one that says academics and then you'll see like the list of colleges and you could just go and click on like the college or the major and then find the people that always have like the contact us or staff that's in that department you can they have the information you can email them you can ask them questions i'm not going to guarantee that they'll answer you right away because people have lives they have obligations that they have to meet like they have things they have to do as well so just sometimes you got to be patient you know you can even call up the school to uh academic affairs which is you know just to see if you have if somebody can help you. Okay, we have the college. Oh wait, did I do? Oh, did I say School of Education? Okay, yeah, okay, School of Education, then you have Department of Curriculum and Instruction, and then Department of Educational Theory, Policy, and Practice. Now moving on to College of Nursing and Allied Health. So you have the School of Nursing, then you have a Department of Speech, Language Pathology, Department of Rehabilitation Counseling, and the Department of Ther Therapeutic Recreation and Leisure Studies. Under School of Nursing, you can get receive your Bachelor of Science in Nursing, your Master of Science in Nursing, you can get a Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing, and Doctor, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Under the Department of Counseling, you can get a Master's of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Then you have the Department of Speech Language Pathology and Audiology. So you can get a Bachelor of Science in Speech, speech Pathology and Audiology, a post-bachelor's degree in speech language pathology, a master of science in speech language pathology, and then under the Department of Rehabilitation and Disability Studies, you can receive your Bachelor of Science in Re Rehabilitation Services, your Master of Science in Clinical Rehabilitation Counseling, and then the Department of Therapeutic Recreation and Leisure Studies. 
and then so under that you can get your bachelor of science in that or a graduate certificate in therapeutic recreation last but not least we have our colleges of science sciences and engineering so you can you have the department of civil and, and environmental engineering department of electrical engineering which underneath that you have the electronic engineering technology program then you have the department of mechanical engineering the department of computer science Department of Biology and Chemistry. So you have your biology program and your chemistry program. Then you have the Department of Mathematics and Phys Physics. So you have a mathematics program and then your physics program. Department of Environmental Tech Toxicology and then the Department of Science and Math Education. Okay, computer, computer science has four con concentrations. You have cybersecurity, information systems, data analytic and sciences and then mobile. So basically, I don't think any of the other ones that I stated has concentrations. However, you can always go back and double check and look. I'm gonna cite this in here and say, if you are undecisive about what path you should take and what major you should go for, definitely just Google it, look it up. That's what I had to do. Um, I looked up like what kind of, what career paths you could take with business management, business marketing. Cause I originally, I was a business management major. However, business marketing gears more towards the things, the type of things that I like to do. So that's why I say, just research it. Type in, your, type in what program you're interested in and then just look up the careers and the paths that you can take with that program, you know, with that degree. Um, but yeah, it's definitely in each different degree, like each different program has their own list of scholarships. So I would definitely say to just go check that out just to see. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the description box below. I am also going to say in reference to day one, if I've noticed quite a few uh, comments starting already about, oh, I haven't, I haven't received any, you know, anything back. I applied, they haven't said anything. I'm going to say that I have i forgot when i applied but i didn't receive any like information till like near the end of january and that's that i was provisionally admitted so basically basically when you're provisionally accepted you're accepted into the school but you still have to complete everything else before you're like completely enrolled so just because you're accepted don't mean you're going to get your um you're going to get your schedule right off the bat so if you want to know what all you need to do, just go back to my day one of 12 days of Southern video and reference that and you'll get the information that you need. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know if this was very informative to you. If you have any further questions or would like to see any anything else in my future videos for the 12 days of Southern, I'm willing to take any suggestions but once again thank you my love bugs for watching you all have a nice day and guess what it's the holiday